Hey, Mike Paletti here from Job Progress, and we're going to go in and pick up where we left off after entering in our customer and our job. So typically, your next step after hitting that save button would be to go ahead and add that appointment. And Ridgeline has an actual appointment stage in their workflow. So when in doubt, plus to that, we want to add an appointment. We're going to go to our Add button above our workflow, and we're going to click it, drop down, and select Appointment. Once you choose Appointment, you see it's going to populate with your appointment intake form. I'm just going to move my floating head. You'll notice that our customer and our job are already linked. From here, we can go ahead and edit our title. Maybe I'm just going to put Ippoletti Inspection. And then, of course, we can choose who our appointment is for. Once you choose who your appointment is for, you can click on the calendar icon to the right. Check out that availability. So now if I want to make sure that I am open for whatever appointments that I am going to set, I am able going to be able to do them as well as the homeowner or business owner's availability is going to match my own. So from here, I can go ahead and take a look. Let's say that we're going to do it on the 15th, choose my date and time, whatever that may be. From here, if I wanted to choose the location, location type, or even enter in a note, I have the ability to do so. And if your account is connected with G Suite or Gmail, whatever that may be, you can then take advantage of the Google Calendar integration. And what that means is that when we click into additional recipients, or if I start typing something in, I actually have the ability to send my homeowner or business owner a Google Calendar invite directly through Job Progress. So this way, all the information is coherent. It's in one organized location. I'm not switching between apps or programs or whatever it may be in order to just send a notification reminder. And speaking of notifications, right below you choose your recipient. You could choose when, how, or how many times you want to get notified. So if I wanted to get an email maybe two hours beforehand and a push notification on my phone 30 minutes beforehand, I have the ability to go ahead and set that. Once I'm done, I can hit my save button. It's going to then save this appointment for me and I'm ready to go. Now let's say that we are going to move our stage because we've scheduled our appointment. So I wanna make sure that I'm tracking that inside of my workflow. I hover over the date right below lead, click in, drag over to the right, and then release on the corresponding stage. And just like that, now our job is being recognized as in the appointment stage. So we're going to go ahead and order our measurements. And whether you're using Eagle View, Hover, Sky Measure, or even hand measuring your roof or any of the other measurement softwares that are out there, you have the ability to take that information and apply it to your estimate. So after clicking measurements on the left-hand side, we hit our Create Measurement. And let's go ahead and take a look at Eagle View. So once I select that option and hit Next, you'll see that I have my plane imagery from my roof. I can go ahead and choose which product I want my delivery options, as well as any other information that I needed to order this. So once I hit save and place order, it would go ahead and place that order. Once it's ready, the PDF, as well as the specific premium measurements or quick squares are gonna populate back in job progress, allowing me to use it for my estimate. But let's go ahead and create a custom one. So I hit create, I'm gonna keep it on measurement form this time, and I'm gonna choose next. Now I could either manually enter in my options, grab them from another PDF, whatever it may be, I'm just going to start filling it out. So let's go ahead and fill out this information here. 15, wage factor 12%. Let's say that's 33 squares. I hit my save button. Let's say that those are my measurements. And now it's going to go ahead and save that for me. Step two would be to locate estimating on your left. And then we're going to hit our create estimate button. Now, in Job Progress, you have several ways that you can actually create an estimate. You can do the handwritten estimate templates when you're on your phone, your mobile device. I like to use the estimating worksheets. It gives you a more accurate representation of what your cost is going to be and allows you to apply that profit margin. Because in job progress, not only do we connect and integrate with your suppliers, you can grab an Excel file, import your materials and your labor charges. We allow you to create what's called macros. And a macro is just a pre-bundled list of any materials, labor charges, permits, miscellaneous fees, anything that you would basically wrap up into an estimate for, regardless of what you're doing, you can create as a macro. And you see here that Ridgeline separates them based off of their roof system as well as their division. So if I'm in my Pensacola division and I want to do a tan car roof, I'm simply going to select my pre-created macro, hit apply, and all these items are going to now populate for me. So just like that, I can start removing anything I know that I'm not going to be using, whatever that may be. Boom, boom, boom. Bullet, bullet, zipper, Lomanco, get rid of the CDX. Let's get rid of our jacks here. And now I've got my labor charges as well. 
We'll go into those as soon as we apply our measurements. So now we could manually click in, hit your quantity, type in whatever that number is, and have your factors factor out that way. But we don't want to do all that. We're going to click measurements up at the top by macros. And I'm just going to select my measurement that I created earlier. Check it off. If I want to update it, I can. Otherwise, I could shoot straight for apply and watch those numbers calculate. And just like that, anything that does need a manual entry, I could go ahead and enter my OSB. Let's say that we're doing two sheets, cement, we're going to get three buckets. Whatever that information needs, you have the ability to go ahead and figure it out. If we're not doing any steep slopes, any mansards, maybe we're not doing a double, anything I don't need, I have the ability to go ahead and delete. So very easily, I can come in here and edit my items, whatever it needs that I need to be doing. And now I have the correct information for this estimate. So based off of just those materials, labor costs, and those miscellaneous charges, I know that this roof system is going to cost me 76.4827. That's what it's going to cost. So now I want to apply a profit. Let's say that we're going to do a nice little margin, take it to 32 and a half percent, hit apply, boom, it calculates. Next thing I want to do is do my tax. Here we go, Scambia County, Florida, select it, update. This is what I need to charge my homeowner. So that number right there is what I need to hit in order for a 32.5% profit margin and my tax to be included based off of my material charges, my labor charges, as well as any, any miscellaneous pricing that I have included on here. So once we're done, if you wanted to present this, you could always click your gear icon, do description only, hide your pricing, and boom, now you have all those items, all those light items, and then a total with that amount selected for you. Once we're done, we hit our save button. We're just gonna call this test estimate. Now we can save this up. You always want to go ahead and update your job price, though, after creating your estimate, because that's what's going to allow that number to automatically show up into your proposal, your bid, your contract, whatever it is that you want to refer to it as. So we're going to click our three vertical dots, hit update job price, and then finally hit proceed. So this way, once we go to financials on the left hand side, that's the number that's going to show up for us. Of course, if you have any questions or you need help setting up your macros, your measurements, or anything else that we went over in this video, please feel free to give us a call, 844-562-7764, add extension number two. Or shoot us an email, support at jobprogress.com. We'll definitely be able to help you with whatever you need, so reach on out. Thank you. Bye.